the eternal question when it comes to housing, rent or buy? According to a Harvard University study, half of all renters in the U.S. are cost burdened, meaning that more than one third of their income goes to pay rent. Joining us now is Rogers Healy, owner of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate. Rogers, put this in perspective. There, uh, is this just parts of the country that renting has become an, an inc increasing burden? Yeah, I mean, it's the parts of the country that people have a strong desire to live in, you know, and the stuff that we don't really read about are the cities that are more affordable, um, the blue-collar cities, the ones on the outside of the urban core. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's real estate 101, location, and the closer you are to the, to the bullseye, the more expensive you're going to pay or the more expensive it's going to be. Yes, yeah, 17, this is an Urban Institute study, that 17 of the 33 major U.S. cities are cheaper for renting than they are for buying. So where are you seeing, because everybody, I think, deep down really wants to own rather than pay rent right. to a landlord. Where are the opportunities for buying right now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's on the areas that haven't been, you know, affected yet by gentrification. And I think we see that in the cities, whether it's L.A. and Dallas or it's Tulsa and Cincinnati. The places you're going to get the best bang for your buck are the ones that are three or four layers out from, you know, every, from the place everybody wants to be. So, you know, I think it's just a shift in mindset. And we, and we talked about this before. Like, the rule of real estate has always been location, but I think it's, it's shifting not slowly but quickly towards affordability. So people are going to change their priorities and realize being in the car 15 minutes longer is okay as long as they have equity in something versus throwing away money for rent. How did New York City get on that list of uh, a city that's more affordable to own than rent? I'm a little confused. Well, it's possible. I mean, rents like an average rent price across the country is approaching two bucks a foot, and in a city like New York City, you're probably closer to four and a half to five dollars a foot. So, you know, you have an 800 square foot studio, you're paying four thousand dollars a month, or you can live in Brooklyn or a place that's not in Manhattan for probably eight hundred thousand dollars, and you get a good mortgage. It makes more sense to go and do something like that. So. I think we're going to see that, like in San Francisco, you'll probably see it in, in L.A., but New, New York usually starts the trend for, for stuff like that. So a so big debate is, is happening now with, with as the impact of the tax bill. So when you lose right. the state and local deductibility and you, you question as to whether or not there's going to be a pullback in, in terms of the real estate developments, new housing starts, what kind of impact will that have, that have on the economy as a whole? How do you see it from, from the perspective of a renter? Yeah, so l let's be honest with this from the start. I think whenever there's news like this that's relatively secure, everybody's going to freak out. But people need to do some research on it, too, and realize that it's really going to affect the ultra-luxury market, right, and the ultra-rich people because the tax deduction is going down from a million dollars in a loan to 500000 So, you know, all in all, that's not going to really have that big of an impact, but it's going to slow things down, you know, just in general. And people that are on the real estate sales side, this is just kind of part of what we're used to. So... I think it's going to have people, it's going to take them time to familiarize themselves with actually right. what's going to what's going to happen and how it's going to affect them. Wayne Rogers, the good news, it's $750,000 is the mortgage yeah. interest deduction. So it's not as bad, it's not that horrible. Rogers Healy, thank you so yeah. much. Great to Merry see Christmas. you. Merry Christmas, my you friend. Too.